So glad that you joined my class today. We are going to be doing lots of music fun. Let's start by doing our singing song by tapping our chins. Ready? Sing with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Sing with me in music class. We sing, sing, sing. We can also use our speaking voice. On a cell phone, we need to use a normal voice, not too loud and not too quiet so the person can hear us. Let's speak, ready? Speak with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Speak with me in music class. We speak, speak, speak. Our ears have to work really hard to hear a whisper. Let's try doing a whisper while we touch our ears, ready? Whisper with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Whisper with me in music class. We whisper, whisper, whisper. What is opposite of a whisper? Maybe a shout. Oh, that's loud. When we speak with a megaphone, it makes our voices sound loud. Let's try using a loud voice and say shout. Here we go, ready? Shout with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Shout with me in music class. We shout, shout, shout. Whoa, our voices can sound loud and they can sound soft. They can sound normal and they can la 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 sing. Let's tap our chins and sing one more time. Sing with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Sing with me in music class. We sing, sing, sing bag of wonders. I wonder what we're going to do in our fun music class today. We have our ukulele. We also have a shoe. We have a, whoa, a heavy hammer. Watch out. We've got some trains. Choo choo. We've got some different faces, emotions, sad, happy, scared. We've got some alphabet letters, a new fun song today. We've got a ball, a basketball. Basketballs are fun to play with. Ooh, a book, Eight Silly Monkeys. They like that one. Oh, and we've got Mr. L. Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're here today. And we also have a. <gasps> train whistle and ooh, zzz, zzz, watch out <gasps> mr. B be careful don't sting anyone today okay all right let's get started on our fun class <gasps> I got some messages from our friends thanks for sending us some videos so that we could copy you today we get to copy winter <gasps> and Anna and Carter Louisa and May all right let's copy them ready Hey, hey, look at winter. Can you copy, copy winter? Thanks. All right, next is Anna. Ready? Hey, hey, look at Anna. Can you copy, copy Anna? Thanks for copying Anna. Next is Carter. Ready? Hey, hey, look at Carter. Can you copy, copy Carter? Thanks for copying Carter. Next is Louisa. Hey, hey, look at Louisa. Can you copy, copy Louisa? Thank you for copying Louisa. Last is May, ready? Hey, hey, look at May. Can you copy, copy May? Thanks for copying me. If you ever want to send us some videos and we could copy you, you can send it to this address right here. 
Thank you. I love copying you. Thanks for the videos. Mr. Owl wanted to get a chance to say hello to you too. Say hello, Mr. Owl. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Hello, let's do our hello song. We're going to sing hello class and they could sing back hello, Miss Lindsay. Ready? Hello class. And then you sing back to me. Hello, Miss Lindsay. Do you remember how to do it? Let's try it. Ready? We're going to sing to you. Ready? Hello, class. Your turn. Thanks for singing hello to me. Let's try singing hello to Mr. Owl, okay? All right, ready? Sing with me. Hello, Mr. Owl. Ooh, 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 ooh. He said, hello, class. That is a two note song, Mr. Owl. It's a so me song. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A so me song. What if we did it in our solfege words like this? So me, so me. Like hello class. Can you use your solfege hands with me and we'll sing hello class. Ready? Hello class. What if we used our solfege songs to sing our solfege hands to sing hello to Miss Lindsay? Let's try it. Ready? Hello, Miss Lindsay. Will you do it too? Hello, Miss Lindsay. Thanks, Mr. Owl. Hoo-hoo. Thanks for saying hello to our class. And thanks for saying hello back to us. I love to sing. We have another tricky thing we want to try. What if the way Mr. Owl moves, woo, woo, we try to match our voices. What do you think? Let's try it. Let's try it on some vowels. A, E, I, O, and U are vowels. Let's start with A. Ready? We're going to say A. Mr. Owl, you're being silly. Let's try A, E, E. Ready? E, A, E, I. Let's try I. tricky. What about you? Should we try you? Okay, ready? You. Thanks for singing our funny flying vowels with us. We had lots of fun using our A, E, I, O, and U vowels. Thanks, Mr. L. Mwah. All right, we are going to do our B song. Do you remember our silly B song? We had Mr. B, he was doing B, B, Bumble B, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. All right, let's try it, ready? First, we are going to do this in a speaking voice. Here we go. B, B, Bumble B. Stung a man upon his knee. Stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. We could play this in a circle game and tap people on the heads and say, I declare that you are out. Or we could do it on our fingers. I declare that you are out. And that finger has to go down. Let's try doing the song again. And this time, let's do it in our whisper voice. Ready? B. B, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Oh, it makes the I love you sign. I, 
love you. That's how they are, all the letters together. I love you. Next we have, oh no, the loud one, the shout. Let's try shouting. Here we go. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Bye, Mr. Pinky. We have an L, lucky L. All right, now let's try singing. Beep, beep, here we go. Beep, beep, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. One, number one. The index finger is number one. Yeah. Good job, Mr. Index Finger. All right, thanks for doing our B song. We used our speaking voice. We used our whisper voice. We used our shouting voice. And we used our singing voice. We love to sing. If you got stung by a bee, which of these emotions or feelings do you think you might have? Do you think you'd feel happy? Maybe not. A little sad, probably worried, <gasps> a little afraid or surprised, feeling silly, oh, crying, sad, wondering, or mm, tired and not maybe wanting to talk to anyone. We can feel lots of different things when things happen to us and it's okay to feel different emotions. If you ever see anyone who's feeling sad, Maybe you can find a way to help them feel better. You could give them a hug or a high five or tell them something that you like about them. Are you ready to take a train ride with me? Let's go on a train ride. But first we have to blow on our train whistle. It has a hole right here for my mouth and I blow it. train whistle. We have trains on our beat map. A beat map is something that we can point to to help it keep a steady beat. How many trains do you see on our beat map? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight trains on our beat map. There are four trains on the top and four trains on the bottom because Four plus four is eight. We are going to do the chant called engine, engine number nine. Ready? Here we go. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the tracks, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Where was the train going down Chicago line? Hey, I live by Chicago. I could take the train down to Chicago. Do you want to come on the train with me? But this time we have to use our whisper voice so we're not too loud on the train for the other passengers. Here we go. Engine, engine number nine going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Thanks for helping me do our engine, engine number nine rhyme. <gasps> We're here, we're in Chicago, we took the train. And who do we see? Oh, hey Johnny. Johnny's here at the train station and he is helping by working with his hammer. We are going to try doing Johnny's hammer song again today. But we're gonna try it a little bit differently. We're gonna try tapping on different parts of our body. Hmm, where should we tap? We could tap on our shoulder, we could tap on our chin. How about our cheek or our elbow? Should we try our elbow? Our first hammer will be on our elbow. 
Here we go. Johnny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, then he works with two. Maybe this hand can tap my head. Ready? Johnny works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Johnny works with two hammers, then he works with three. Ooh, what else could we do? I could have this elbow hit my tummy, ready? Johnny works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Johnny works with three hammers, then he works with four. I think I have to use my legs now, ready? Use one of your legs and you can tap with me, ready? Johnny works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Johnny works with four hammers, then he works with five. Let's try doing our heads. Be careful, don't fall over. Here we go. Johnny works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny works with five hammers, then he goes to sleep. Oh, that was tricky. You could do it again on your own and you could choose different parts of your body to tap on. And that would be fun. Do you remember that there is a head on our bodies and a head on a note and a head on a nail? Do you remember that? This is the nail. This is the nail head. This is the sharp part that we need to be careful with. But we hit the hammer on the head of the nail and it puts the nail into what we're trying to put it in, usually wood, right? Okay, all right, we are going to do our hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Do you remember that? Okay, this time I'm gonna tap it with my finger. Here we go. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Wipe your head and then hit the nail. Oh, there's a little baby sleeping over there. We should try to be quiet. Let's try using a whisper singing voice. Here we go. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Wipe your head and then hit the nail. Oh, good. The baby was in a stroller and they pushed the baby down the street because they're going for a walk. Now we can hammer a little bit louder. Let's try singing in our loud voice. Here we go. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Wipe your head and then hit the nail. Woo, nice and loud. What if we used our speaking voice, our normal speaking voice without singing? Here we go. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Hit the nail, hit the nail, hit the nail head. Wipe your head and hit the nail. Nice job, thank you. And today I also wanted to show you, this is called a quarter note. A quarter note has the note head filled in. Next to it is a half note. A half note's note head is empty. There's a hole in the middle. Quarter note, half note. Quarter note equals one beat and half note equals two. If we were going to clap a quarter note it would sound like this. Ready? Quarter. If we were going to clap a half note it would sound like this. Half note. Let's try three quarter notes. Ready? Quarter, quarter, quarter. Nice. Do it again with me. Three quarter notes. Ready? Quarter, quarter, quarter. Thank you. What about if we did two half notes like this? Half note, half note. When we beat it down, it shows that we're holding it. Play, hold, play, hold. Or sing, sing. We sing, hold, sing, hold. Good. Let's do the quarter note one more time. Ready? Quarter. And then we'll do the half note. Half note, here we go. Half note. There are nail heads and there are note heads and there are heads on our bodies. Lots of different kinds of heads. All right, let's go ahead and read a book. The Silly Monkeys. Let's read our book, ready? Eight Silly Monkeys. Let's count them. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see their little faces popping through the holes of the book? This was illustrated by Steve Haskamp. Back cover of the book with some sad monkeys and front cover of the book with some happy monkeys. Happy, sad, happy. How are you feeling today? Happy or sad? Do you know something else that we did today that has eight? Can you think of our trains? We had eight trains, right? All right, let's get reading. Eight silly monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Seven silly monkeys skipping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys skipping on the bed. Six silly monkeys tumbling on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys tumbling on the bed. Five silly monkeys dancing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys dancing on the bed. Four silly monkeys eating on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys eating on the bed. Three silly monkeys swinging on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys swinging on the bed. Two silly monkeys sliding on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys sliding on the bed. One silly monkey spinning on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys spinning on the bed. But oh, nobody mentioned anything about jumping on the couch. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, those monkeys, they have so much energy. Maybe it's cold outside, too cold to play in, so they're playing and jumping around inside. Do you ever feel that way? Is the weather too hard for you to go play in and so you feel like you have to get all your wiggles out inside your house? I hope you can find some good, safe ways to get your wiggles out and not get hurt like these silly little monkeys. Thanks for reading that with me. Do you like to play ball? Do you like to catch balls? Do you like to bounce balls? This is a song that's called Bounce High, Bounce Low, All the Way to Shiloh. Those are the words. And if you want to bounce a ball, and it's okay to bounce a ball wherever you are, then you could take a ball and you could go like this. Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. And if you have a friend, you could bounce it to your friend like this. Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. We bounced it on the beat. Let's try doing it in a whisper. Ready? Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. What about in our loud singing voice? Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. What if our bodies were like the ball? We could go like this. Bounce high, bounce low, all the way to Shiloh. We could bounce with our bodies just up and down. Do you remember our Soul Fudge song? It has eight notes. A scale has eight notes, just like our eight silly monkeys and our eight trains. Let's try using our solfege hands to do our solfege song. Do at your belly button, ray like a rooftop, me like the floor. Fall with your thumbs down, so like a gate, nice and loose, T points up to do. 
We have a high do and a low do. Home note do. Let's try doing it just the solfed words like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Can you go back down? Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. We bounced all the way to Shiloh and now it's time to walk back to Chicago. Ready? We gotta walk. <gasps> we're walking and we're walking and we're walking because the train is broken. It fell off the tracks and we didn't even get our money back. Oh, we're walking. Oh no, <gasps> not again. We got holes in our shoes again. That means we need to go to the cobbler. All right, so the cobbler is gonna fix our shoe. So you can balance or you can take your shoe off. All right, here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my, whoa. <laughs> Let's try balancing one more time, okay. Here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is at the door. Get it done by half past four. Please. Sign language, please. That's the nice way to ask. Oh no, we have a hole in our other shoe. This time, let's sing it. Cobbler, cobbler, here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is at the door. Get it done by half past four. Magic word, please. You could also play this game called Hunt the Slipper, where you take the, a shoe, someone's shoe, and you're sitting in a circle, and you can pass the shoe around, and the person on the outside tries to guess who is holding the shoe. It's really fun, we should try that sometime too. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, get it done. It is a Somi song. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, Get it done by half past two. Half past two is at the door. Get it done by half past four, please. I love it when people ask me to do something and use the word please. That is the polite way to ask someone to help us. Okay, next is our alphabet song. A, B, C, D. That is the regular way to sing the alphabet song, but there are some different versions. One that my mother taught me and that I love, and now I use it to sing to my daughter when she's brushing her teeth. Do you have any songs you like to sing while you brush your teeth so you make sure that you brush them for a nice long time to get them all clean? This is the song I like to sing to my daughter. I don't use the ukulele though. This is an alphabet song plus a nursery rhyme song. I think nursery rhymes are fun. They help us to remember stories in a creative and rhyming way. Here is the alphabet song with a nursery rhyme song combined. Here I go. O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over the candlestick, Jack jumped high, Jack jumped low, Jack fell down and burnt his toe. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
that's the song. I hope that Jack feels better. Maybe we can put a little Band-Aid on his toe because he got it burned. Be careful with fire, right? It's like our finger candles. <gasps> All right, let's remember our engine, engine number nine. The train is fixed. We can take a ride again. Here we go. Engine, engine number nine going down Chicago line. If the train falls off its tracks, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Choo choo! What if we did a little baby train? Choo choo! Can you do that with me? Choo choo! What if we did a grandpa train? Choo choo! What about a mommy train? Choo choo! Choo choo! What about a sister train? Choo choo! Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Hi, Mr. Owl. We're glad you're back. You came back just in time. We are about to sing our goodbye song. Can you help me? All right, ready? Can you find a steady heartbeat on your chest just like me? My heart will be blessed with the sound of music and I'll sing once more. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye everybody. We had so much fun with you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks. See you next time.